this ironing won't do itself, will it? Any opportunity to interfere in my daughter's life, I'll take it. She wants to feel needed. What's wrong with that? Nothing. It's the way she goes about it. Well, you won't change her now, will you? You might as well just chill out and live with it. She's put creases in my jeans. That's it. She has to go. They look all right to me. Are you kidding me? A lot of the boys in India wear them like that. Really? Yeah, it's not so bad. Maybe if you just put on a nice silk shirt and some gold jewelry. This is not funny. Yes, it is. And I am glad that she ironed your jeans because now you know what I've been going through. And it won't stop at the ironing. She'll be cleaning the windows tomorrow, getting the place renovated next week, even though it doesn't need it, booking you into the dentist. She has to go. On the next available flight. Question is, who's going to tell her? Duh, you're her daughter. She won't listen to me. You heard her. You're the man of the house, Scotty. Whatever you say, go, Scotty. If I tell her, she'll never talk to me again. But you, she'll get over it. She has to. You're the one who's been nice to her, encouraging her to stay for dinners, making her feel welcome. So it's all my fault. Yes, and you have to fix it. Shanti, she's your mother, not mine. As soon as you married me, she became your mother too. So you have to tell her. Happy birthday. Thanks, I love it. <laughs> oh, and I love this man fume. Oh, it's from Karen too. Mm, and you thought we'd forgotten. Well, you guys really didn't need to get me anything. But you're glad we did, right? <sighs> Might go put your glad rugs on. I'm taking out for munchies. Yeah. Oh, you don't need to do that. It's all organised. Sorry, guys, but my parents want me to go over to their place for dinner, and I'd better keep them happy. Sure. We can go out another night. Okay, okay. one moment. Gerald, it's your mother on the phone, and she was wondering how many of your friends are coming to dinner. Yes, there'll be three of us, plus the birthday boy. Great. Can't wait to meet you. Bye. Did you just gay crush Gerald's family dinner? I most certainly did not. Mrs. Tippett asked Gerald to ask his friends last week. Why don't you say something? It's just that my parents are a little bit embarrassing. Oh, have you met my mother? Have you met my father? <laughs> Everybody is embarrassed by their parents, Gerald. Join the queue. Well, I'm sorry, but it's my birthday and I'm saying you can't come, so... I'll go home and change. Hmm. Shower for me. That's all the taxi. Uh, Chris? Yes? Mr. McCauley, your post-op anal abscess? Yes. He thinks I'm the yellow pages. Let your fingers do the walking. Oh! Would you like me to make a complaint? No, I just want you to do his discharge somewhere so I can send him home. Sure thing. Not a problem. Thank you. Um, I couldn't find the registrar. Chris, are you free? Depends who's asking. I need a second opinion. Of course. Great. Tanya, sorry, uh, I'll be right up. Uh, did you see that woman? It was like I wasn't even here. Bad day. Oh, you've been working your tush off, haven't you? That's nothing a glass of wine won't fix. I was just thinking the same thing. I will cook something gorgeous and then we'll get wine and DVDs and we'll have a girly night at home. Yay! <laughs> You're on. <laughs> what are you two doing here? I thought it was your day off. We're not here. I'm just fixing the rosters, then we're gone. I won't ask. I will. What? It's my mother. She's determined to live in New Zealand and become an independent woman. I wonder who gave her that idea. I'm so sorry. I thought she would have snapped out of all that. Well, she hasn't. And she's not independent yet. She's around at our place every five minutes. The last thing a couple of newlyweds need. I need her to make up with my father, then go home. Her own home. But I don't have the heart to tell her, and neither does Scotty. I'll talk to her again. You won't have any trouble finding her tonight. She'll be in my kitchen, cooking for hundreds, doing the ironing. Not tonight, she won't. I'll make sure of it. I'll take her out for dinner. Give you two a chance to think. Thank you, Yvonne. <laughs> At least I can do. Oh, it's just so lovely that you could all come. <laughs> And at such short notice, too. Yes, all right. So I forgot. Just shoot me. <laughs> and I want to make it clear. You're very welcome in our lives. You're very welcome in our home. All right, thank you. Mum, you can let go of him. If Morgan's part of your life, he's part of ours. Well, actually, no, I'm... I'm carers. Yeah, Mum, Dad, this is my girlfriend, Morgan. Nice to meet you. Oh, my, my mistake, darling. <laughs> 
which makes you livid. Yes, so it's back on the fire. Oh, <laughs> no, help yourselves to drinks, everybody. There's wine, organic beer, fruit or vegetable juice. Oh, there's honey mead here too, if anyone fancies a taste. Homemade? Uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe after dinner, Dad. <laughs> no, uh, homebrew I'm, I'm in. <laughs> now, dinner, does um, anybody have any allergies? Lactose intolerance problems with gluten? Yeah, no, dinner, dinner will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> it will be if I don't burn it. Oh, you're just... Gorgeous creatures! <laughs> that night on, um, Gerald's present. Oh, um, Karen, could you pop a CD on for me? Yeah, of course. Everybody happy with the top twins? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, the, the one on the top's good, some French fusion thing. Oh, your dad is so cute. <laughs> I think he's got a cold. Oh no. I am sorry about the mess. I'll deal with it in a second. You you worry about JJ, I'll clean up. I'll just get him settled and then we can relax. Cool. Oh, and we'll have to watch one of our DVDs. I didn't get a chance to pick up a rental. That's okay. We'll get any wine. <laughs> Forget about it. And then his only macaroni cheese. That's something gorgeous. I know it's a size. I thought I should make his favourite to keep him happy. It just needs reheating. Yum. So they were happily shopping for chocolates and duty free. Then they turned around and. I'm gone. No taxi. Back to Shanti's place. Poor Naveen. And the girls, they must have been beside themselves with worry. I talked to the girls the other day. They are fine. Did you talk to Naveen? <sighs> the call was expensive enough as it was. Shopna, it's not just about him. I wanted to stay and help Shanti settle with her husband. Cooking, cleaning. She doesn't have to lift a finger with me around. Pina coladas. I've heard of those. Are they nice? You need to talk to your husband. Even if you argue for an hour. Then... What about a martini? Even if you argue, you'll be opening the lines of communication. And... What about a Long Island iced tea? Maybe we should just stick to wine tonight. Oh, come on. I'm here in New Zealand. Out with my new friend, with no husband breathing down my neck. I just want to try some new experiences. Excuse me? Yes. Two pina coladas, please. No, no, no. Don't listen to her. Coming right up. <laughs> Check out these puppies. Karen! Don't turn them off. Nibbles, everyone. Karen was just admiring your bust. Oh, can't you see the likeness? I had a plaster cast made by this wonderful sculptor called Ronnie Davis. I just love them. Nigel thinks they're a little lopsided. I just prefer the real McCoys. Right, guys, can we just keep it seemly in front of the guests? Oh, sorry, I forgot. No sex talk around the boy. Gerald's always been a bit prudish. Oh, I have not. I'll never forget, he was about 13. He found my manuscript, read two paragraphs. Very saucy. He couldn't look at me for a week. This is a children's book? No, my novel, Adult Erotica. I write under several pseudonyms, which can be very confusing at times. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. You don't want to send the wrong manuscript to the wrong publisher. Oh, funny you should mention that. No. Yes, I um, had two deadlines in one week. I was under pressure. I sent that bodice ripper. Night pleasures of a wanton woman. To the children's publisher. And I sent that one, Tommy Pitches a Tent, to the... Adult Erotica Publisher. It's the first time I've ever really blushed. You know, I think that might be true. Oh, no, 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 hang on. There was that time we were busy in the hammock and we got stuck. Oh, and the two Mormon boys turned up. <laughs> Dead! Oops, there I go again. Something for later, maybe. Meanwhile, let's eat. Morgan. That's a lovely name. For a boy. Oh, I'm so sorry about the mix-up. It's just that, to be perfectly honest, we thought Gerald was gay. I gathered that. <laughs> but obviously we were wrong, to my relief. <laughs> oh no, I'm not anti-gay. I'm pro whatever makes you happy, baby. But I'm definitely anti-denial. Anti not owning up to who you are. Anti not allowing yourself to experience all the pleasures available to a consenting adult. 
I'm just glad he's finally having a full and healthy relationship. It is full and healthy, isn't it? We're taking things slowly. I see. Are you a Christian? No, I'm an atheist. Very sensible. But you are waiting for marriage before you commit to things sexually. Oh, no. It's just... It's, it's just that we stopped. You're not unwell, are you? You know, problems down below. No, no. It's just that Gerald... Morgan, nothing scares me. Nothing scares me at all. Gerald is asexual. Who says? He, he does. He, he decided that he doesn't have sex. Doesn't want it. Ever. Oh, my goodness. Where did you disappear to? Pops across the road to the bottle store. I can't cope with the little mermaid without getting completely trashed. <laughs> it's not that bad. JJ loves it. I wonder if I should check on him. His nose is all blocked. Maybe I should clear it out before he goes to sleep. He is never going to sleep if you keep fussing over him. I guess you're right. Okay, no baby talk, no shop talk. Deal. Hey, did Shanti say that the wedding photos weren't yet? No, I got some really good ones on my digital. I'm kicking myself, though. Why? What's wrong? I accidentally deleted a really gorgeous one of Jay. Oh, we have 5,000 photos of the kid. Oh, but he looks so cute. He's smiling really hard out. Was it him? I don't think so. Anyway, um, Shanti's mum said that the photographer was having him. What's wrong now? I'm going to have to postpone his immunizations. He's not well. What? You're talking baby. Well, it's just that guy at work was tetanus. He's really sick. And now you're talking work. I'm sorry. But JJ and work, that's my world. Well, I'm sorry, but that is not good enough. Where are you going? I'm calling Sophie. She is going to come and babysit, and you are going out to get yourself alive. Oh, no, I don't think that's a very good idea. And no excuses. No, he's got a cough, and he's all snuffly. Everything that you're eating is organic, by the way. Cool. There are so many additives these days, who knows what they're doing to us. Keeping us alive, that's what they're doing. Mm, giving us cancer, more like. Well, people have always had cancer. Just in the past, they died before they found out. Interesting theory. What do you think, Katie? I think cancer is caused by suppression of emotion. Suppression of your true self. I think we're all true self kind of people. I like to think so. Me too. Good. Gerald. Huh? Okay, I need the recipe for this, Katie. Yeah. You being asexual, I don't think that's true. I don't even know how you came to that conclusion. Asexual? As in uh, no sexual? Is there something wrong down below? That's what I said to you. No, Dad, I am perfectly healthy, and, and I don't really think this is appropriate dinner conversation, so... Yes, tell us about your beekeeping, Mr Tippett. Who cares about beekeeping? How long has this been going on, or not going on? The bee. So, uh, Gerald tells me you sell the power. You must save your fortune. Hunter, I said no more. When you're in the ladies, I took them five dollars. You're a good boy. And a pushover. Let's get out of here. Catch a movie. Mm, there are more interesting things we could catch. That man, is he handsome? I'm not sure. I suppose so. Then what are we waiting for? What are you doing? Picking up a complete stranger in a bar. Shubna, you are a married woman. That is why it is so exciting. Lightning could strike at any minute. Wish me luck. <laughs> Three pina coladas. Mm -hmm. Where are you going, Mrs. Kimberly? <laughs> oh, no, it's not right. I'll ring Shanti. Why? No, you won't, you nana. Oh, give me my phone back. I was going to call home first. Why? To check on my baby, of course. Kylie knows what she's doing, my aunt. Who? It's Sophie's mate. Uh, Sophie had something on, so he's babysitting for us. Oh, yeah, she's all right. Yeah, a bit plain, but she's brainy. A perfect babysitter. Okay. Lovely. Look, just relax, OK? Give yourself the night off, Mum. See? I've just got it alone. With your phone. <laughs> Two glasses, one bottle of wine. Is someone missing? Brooke, she's on her way. Oh, I'll leave you to it then. Oh, no, 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 please, have a seat. Thanks. 
You've gone to a lot of effort. Is it a special occasion? Ah, uh, yes. A mission of mercy. Maya's entire life revolves around babies and work, so we're out for a girly night. Good thinking. It's tough being a mum, let alone a solo You are so right. <laughs> oh, here she is. Hi. Hi. Take a seat. Get comfy. Oh, shouldn't we be going? Actually, I had to opt for a later booking, so uh, we have time for one drink at least. Great. All sorted? Yes, he's fast asleep. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Oh, um... I hope we're not intruding on your romantic evening, guys. No, 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 not at all. Woofers. Woofers. Willing workers on organic farms. Ah. <laughs> They're backpackers, mainly. We give them accommodation and food, and in return they help us out with the bees. Amongst other things. Mum? Your mother's right, though. It did help. Uh, what help what? His name was Kenji, a woofer. A willing worker. And he was so very willing. That's right. She had a fling. Just a few days worth, wasn't it? <laughs> it's okay. We talk openly about this. And we're grateful, really. It gave us a bit of a, a wake-up to rev things up in the boudoir. This is good for you two to hear this, because, you know, sometimes we need a push in the right direction. A little help from an outside trigger to get you back on track when you've gone a bit wayward. His name is Simon, and he's just invited us to join him for a drink. But we're not interested. Why not? Because you love Naveen, and cheating on him will break your heart. You have got it all wrong. I warmed him up for you, not for me. Sure. He's a lawyer, and you can't do better than that. Apart from a cardiothoracic surgeon, but he will do. Then he can just go home while we go to the movies. What are you scared of? He's very friendly and handsome, and much more fun than a movie. Come on. <laughs> so what happened to the colon, Makana? <laughs> Uh, it was relegated to the bowels of the hospital, <laughs> where it is no doubt causing an obstruction. <laughs> so you didn't want it for the SRD? Oh, please. <laughs> That's the Surgical Research and Development Unit. Yes, I did know that. Sorry. But that thing is so hideous. Oh. Even Harry could whip up a sculpture with more class oh, than that. Oh, how is the little man at the house? He's getting there. Is he still doing those swim classes down the road? Oh, yeah, they're great. I might book JJ in soon. Do, I highly recommend it. Mm. I used to do a bit oh, of swim. Oh, sorry, I've got to get going. Maya... He's coughing. Call one by one. <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. All right, home time it is. No, no, you haven't finished your drink. I'll just settle him down and then I'll be straight back. Promise? Promise. Oh, I'll keep you single. So, the SRD. It's been a lot of talk. When are we going to see some action? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing myself. Oh, well, come on then. Tell us all about it. Where do I start? Tantric sex is a way of living. It's a spiritual path. <laughs> Mum, two words. Shut it. <laughs> Darling, your father and I are concerned. We're worried to bits, actually. I mean, sex is the most wonderful thing, and I hate thinking of you going without. Well, not talking about it would be a great start. Not writing about it either might have been a good idea. Don't you start on that. Well, I always worried about Gerald's life being converted into children's entertainment. Is, is every private little moment splashed across the pages of your books? We have got nothing to do with Gerald's low libido. It's more like to do with your disgusting lessons in microbiology of the human body. And look at you. Gorgeous, full-bodied thing. What's wrong with you? Nothing. And I'm okay, I really am. You're starved, I can tell. This is a private matter between Gerald and me, and I really didn't mean for it to turn into a family argument. I think we should go get some air. Now look what you've done. It's not me. The poor thing's traumatised. Yeah, because you keep going on about it. Okay, let's just take five minutes and calm down, shall we? There are a lot of things to take into account with the design of an operating theatre. You know, the colour of the walls affects the quality of the light, the height of the ceilings and so on. Wow, I thought it'd be all about choosing equipment and billing it to the DHB. Oh, I've already done that, but don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate to be a drag, but we should probably get going. Is there still time? Yes, but the traffic. Quite right. I hope you don't mind us abandoning Oh, I'll let you off this time. Have a good night. You too. Another drink? Ah, uh, make it two. Maya should be here soon. 
Or not. Just one? Yeah. So it turns out it wasn't the fly man's dog at all. <laughs> Just a stray that wandered in. I spent the entire afternoon patting this flea-ridden, germ-carrying mutt that shouldn't have been anywhere near a hospital, <laughs> let alone my desk. I'm so glad you rescued me from a lonely dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it was Shubna's doing, really. I'm determined to embrace Western experiences. That includes chatting up a stranger. Something I've never done before. Something you will never do again, am I right? Oh, it is best to be cautious. You're just lucky that you chose someone as nice as Simon. It was lovely to meet you both, but I have a case to prepare. Oh, sorry, we didn't mean to hold you up. I'm glad you did. And hopefully I'll see you again. <laughs> I hope so too. Quick, give me your phone number. What? Oh. oh, yes, that's a good idea. Here, use my pen. Oh, thank you. And thank you for paying for the drinks. That was very kind of you. Not at all. Oh. <laughs> Good night. Well, I hope that is the end of your new experiences for one night. I guess so. But that was fun. So what are we doing tomorrow night? You're not going out again until you sort things out with Naveen. And then I'm going to take you for the biggest night out on the town, just before I put you on a plane to India. I'm not going anywhere. Really? Tonight has confirmed everything. New Zealand really is the place for me after all. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. We're sorry for upsetting you. We just got a little carried away, that's all. Now, who'd like another drink? No one, because we are all going home. Can someone please order a taxi now? Uh, thank you for the You can't go yet. We haven't had the birthday cake. You can put that in the freezer and you can donate this 50% alpaca, merino, whatever it is, monstrosity to the op shop. Gerald, we're very sorry for ruining your big day. It's just that we're struggling with this decision you've made. We think you're missing out on so much. Talk to him. Yes, maybe we should stay. No, we shouldn't. And, and if I am missing out on something, if there is something wrong with me, then it's all your fault. But all we've done... Because look at all the evidence. Porn on the walls, porn on the bookshelf. There's a big difference between porn no, and... I don't want to hear that. I, I don't want to hear any more about sex. Not one word, because that's all that I've heard since I was a kid. Sex this and sex that. And, and well, quite frankly, it is nothing short of abuse. What are you saying? That you abused me and that you should probably go to jail. Both of you. If you have been affected by issues raised in this program, please see RTE Airtel page 707. Amy 